Okay, um, some different variations of screens. Not all of these are linemen release downfield screens. Some of them are, uh, but different kind of uh, special screens or gadgety screens that we've had the last few years. Okay, this first one, we're in a condensed bunch set. We're going to jet sweep the running back, hand it to him, and then he's going to pull up and throw it back to the quarterback on a quarterback screen. So all of our bunch guys at the top of the screen, <clears throat> they're all work, working to sell outside zone and protect the running back there on the jet sweep. Our offensive linemen are running our screen play where we're releasing guys downfield uh, and getting out and lead blocking for the quarterback. So again, we're in a condensed bunch set, uh, running jet sweep. We had shown jet sweep out of this formation first. So we show the jet sweep, then we come back with a jet sweep, pull up and throw it back to the quarterback on the quarterback screen there. Um, having an athletic quarterback, uh, a guy that can do stuff like that, number 10 could, makes makes uh, designing these type of plays really fun for us. Okay, this one here, <clears throat> let me take it back to the beginning, kind of explain where everyone's lined up and what they're doing. So pause, whoops. All right, so what we've got here, uh, this guy at left tackle right here is an, actually a wide receiver. Okay, so we've taken the wide receiver, put him at left tackle, and our tackle is out here in this wall. So we've got three guys out there. I don't know if you can see that. We've got a tackle uh, and two wide receivers. We're going to in motion this receiver to get them behind the wall. So it looks like we're going to run in here behind this wall, and he's running the ball. Okay, so we're motioning him in. We're going to catch it behind this wall. And in the meantime, our running back is running a swing that direction, and we're going to pitch him the ball from this in motion. These three guys right here are tackle and two wide receivers. They're blocking essentially outside zone rules to the right, trying to get the edge. If you watch our outside guy, um, he misses, he has his block and then he, he lets him off at the last second and prevents this from being a huge play, but it's still a good play for us, a big play for us. So we're gonna catch it, throw that in, in motion kind of shield screen, um, and then we're pitching it to the running back on kind of a, I don't know, a hitch and ladder type play. Our receiver coming in who catches the ball does a great job selling it. You see how he dips his shoulder, makes it look like he's going to run the football, try to get those guys. Uh, even if they just take one false step, that's worth it for us. Helps us get our guy around the edge there when we pitch the ball uh, to the running back. Okay, this one here, um, good learning point for me. Uh, we practiced this all week in practice. I thought we had had it down, we had it good. Uh, and you'll see, we don't execute it perfectly. And the kids told me after the game, coach, you know, we never practice it going to the left. Uh, and that's completely my fault. You know, I, I, I thought I made sure of that, but now it's, it's something I've learned from. I'm gonna make sure anytime we have gadgets that can be ran both ways to the left and to the right, I've gotta make sure that we practice them both ways during the week. Uh, the pitch was a little bit different here for our, our running back, um, delays it just a little bit, and it costs us maybe uh, potentially a big play. So what we're going to do here, um, we like to swing our running back and throw him a swing behind these guys blocking out here. That's a big play for us that we run quite often. So what we're going to do here is we're going to throw the ball out here to our running back. Our number two receiver is going to jab, sell that he's blocking, and then he's going to come underneath and take a forward pass from our running back. Our offensive line is blocking our slow screen rules to the field. So they're going to be releasing and block, uh, working up to the field to the left side here for this receiver, kind of on a tunnel look for him. Um, I think we've got it there. They end up retracing and tackling us uh, because the pitch isn't clean. Again, my fault on that, not making sure that we practice things both ways. You can see there the pitch was a little bit awkward, a little bit behind our guy, uh, and, and that's my fault for not getting – practice reps on that for my guy you know uh, again they told us after the game told me after the game coach we didn't ever practice that play going to the left so my fault on that one uh, but you can see uh, when the receiver catches the ball if it's a clean catch I think he's got a crease I think we had a chance at this being a big play um, you know right here when he catches it if he catches it clean I think we've got a shot right down this seam right down the middle of the field uh, but because of the bobble, they are able to retrace. Great play by their defensive line. They're retracing and making the tackle on us.
Okay, on this one here, we've got a jet suite fake. Um, I say fake, it's actually, it was a built-in. This, this is kind of an RPO for us, or not kind of, it was an RPO. So we're either gonna give the jet sweep or we're gonna throw the backside tunnel screen. We're releasing the left guard and left tackle to block for the tunnel screen. And from the center over, everybody to the right is blocking jet sweep. Okay, this is completely uh, on the quarterback. He is making a decision off of his read key on whether he's gonna give the jet sweep or whether he's throwing this backside tunnel. On this particular one, uh, his read key tells him to throw the backside tunnel. So he's gonna not pitch the jet sweep and throw the backside tunnel. You can see our guys from the center over are blocking outside zone, left guard, left tackle are gonna release and block out here for the screen. I'll let it play one more time through uh, without pausing uh, and without talking so you can see what we're talking about here. Jet sweep with a backside tunnel built in RPO. Okay, so this is our tight end slow screen. This is a pretty good play for us. Um, the thing that was a little bit different on this particular one is we're in that overload set again. So we've got our outside receivers over here. Both are on the ball, which frees up our receiver to be able to go in motion, right? So when he goes in motion, we actually send our running back um, on what we call a pipe route, right? He's going to run right down the top of the numbers on a pipe route, trying to draw coverage to him. Okay, so if those guys cover him, which they should, right, we have the, the uh, sniffer, tight end, fullback, whatever position you want to call that, on the slow screen coming in behind it. So, again, letting it play. Uh, we've got the guy off the ball so he can go in motion. Our quarterback's looking to that, pumps it. <clears throat> they cover our tailback down the seam, so we're able to throw the slow screen in behind it. Again, it's our base screenplay, uh, but we've dressed it up with some overload form formation, orbit motion, uh, T-pipe, seam, and then throwing it back there to the tight end. Okay, later in the year, we come back to a similar play, um, but this time we gave the quarterback the option um, to read that seam by the running back. Okay, we told him if he's uncovered, go ahead and throw it. He makes the wrong read, uh, they cover him, and we end up throwing it out of bounds. But again, it was worth it to us to take that shot to slow those guys down. Um, they've got to be a little more cognizant of that running back. Maybe he's not just a dummy route now. They know there is a threat of us throwing it to him. Um, on this one, if you see, they do cover the running back. If we were throwing the slow screen, we've got guys with their back to the ball. I'll see if I can pause it here. Um, instead of pursuing the screen, they're chasing our running back. Um, so not perfectly executed, which that happens, right? That's football. But I think right here, instead of throwing that, if we're hitting this slow screen to our sniffer tight end guy, we've got guys chasing the running back, and we're coming down here on the sideline with, uh, with this tight end on the slow screen. Okay, so this was kind of built off of a, a play made popular last couple of years, the GT screen where you pull GT one direction and, and then release your lineman out the other way. Um, wasn't a huge game for us, but again, hopefully it slowed those guys down a little bit on our GT. So we're gonna jet sweep, okay, out of empty. We're jet sweeping our running back, uh, faking the jet sweep, and then he's gonna kind of bubble back and we're throwing it back to him. Our quarterback is gonna fake the jet sweep, sell GT counter to the boundary here. We're pulling GT, left guard, left tackle to the boundary and we're releasing the center right guard and right tackle to the field to try to be a lead blocker for this jet sweep who becomes a swing. Okay, our tight end is also gonna get out there and lead for it. Um, not our cleanest rep, not our best play, but I, I think it was a, a fairly good design. It just didn't work out great for us. Um, credit to this defense. They're a great defense that we're playing against on this one and, and redirect and get back over there and make a pretty good play. Again, um, I think it was a gain of three or four. If we would have ran the actual GT play and gained three or four, uh, we would have been pleased with that on a first and 10 
uh, you know, setting up second and medium. So just something we're kind of trying to get the ball in our playmakers' hands as well as slow down the defensive pursuit a little bit there. So you can see our center, right guard, right tackle are all trying to get out uh, to lead for that guy out there to the field. 